another video lesson of uh, AG Academy and UGTV and I hope the series that uh, I have been making so far uh, hasn't proved to be too boring for you guys I've tried my best to make it as entertaining as possible and I've tried my best to make sure that the I've uh, to know make complicated things a little bit more simpler for you guys to understand and uh, the little brown handbook which is a huge book uh, but ultimately makes you a better writer in all sorts of ways I've tried to uh, make sure and uh, you know uh, write, it, write it down in a brief manner so you can understand it better uh, it also helps me with my studying as well and would also help you with whatever career path that you choose in your future so we'll go up ahead and uh, you know start with the 3a exercise 3a part 3a of the little brown handbook and uh, move on what it has to say it's all about drafting revising and editing uh, i know in all my previous videos about the little brown handbook we've always emphasized on revising on drafting and on editing and we'll continue with the process procedure of studying uh, the little brown handbook so whenever you draft an essay you work towards uh, two three pages that aren't really there for studying so this is the only note we're going to study so when you draft an essay you work towards expressing and connecting the ideas you've developed if you change direction or run out of ideas during drafting you can always circle back to renew your purpose discover new ideas or re rethink your uh, the thesis i think it's all about whenever you draft an essay or whenever you write an outline for an essay uh, the main objective is to express yourself the main objective is to express your ideas the main objective is to express the and connect the the subject with the words uh, in the form of a body and uh, during your drafting process if you ha happen to have a change of mind or you know uh, you happen to come across a different direction or you come across a writer's block which is usually written as you run out of ideas uh, you can always you know circle back to the question or the subject to, uh, or you know the 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 question of the statement or the question of the essay to renew your purpose or discover new ideas or you know always brainstorm about uh, new ideas or you know observe your think about different experiences in your own life which will help to rethink your thesis ways to start drafting now read over what you've already written and interesting these are some tips and tricks some strategies that can help to uh, help you to start drafting so the number one uh, strategy is read over what you've already written i think it's uh, it's uh, it's a strategy about revising so 3a i think we've done this before haven't we huh. anyhow read read over what you've already written uh, you know whatever you write whenever you write whatever subject whatever uh, thesis that you write or whatever uh, question paper you're attempting whatever essay you've written whatever uh, question you've attempted it's always better to read over what you've already written because there's always room for improvement there's always new ideas coming in and out but if you have a limited set of amount uh, uh, a limited set amount of time all you have to do is you know uh, make sure that you read it in proper time and make sure that uh, you attempt the question in proper time but if you have a lot of time and if you're a free writer which is the second point then reading over what you've already written uh, over a number of times will always help express and improve your writing in a lot of ways pretend you're talking to a uh, to a friend about your subject you know writing alone in your room about any subject can be a little daunting for anyone so pretending that you're talking to a friend because when you're talking to a friend when you're talking to a relative when you're talking to a close friend you tend to expose your feelings you tend to you know express yourself better so pretending that you're talking to a friend about a certain subject can help you express your ideas in a better way can help you express your self in a better way can help you express and detail what you're trying to write and uh, detail 
uh, about the ideas that you're trying to express in a better way describe an image that represents your uh, subject so in, you know describing an image that represents your subject for instance if you're writing about planting uh, it's the it's a subject that i've discussed in my previous video so if you're writing about plants if you're writing about life if you're writing about environment if you're writing about politics so you know having an image in your head about that particular topic for instance if you're writing about politics so you you have an image in your head about a representative you have an image in your head about united nations you have an image in your head about different political representatives who are describing those uh, or discussing those political issues in your head and uh, that image can help you better write about that subject in words in the form of uh, an essay writing a paragraph is obviously uh, a better strategy to attempt an essay or any question you know making sure that if you are writing a paper or a thesis or a, or an essay you know it's always good to write it in the form of essays instead of writing it continuously on one paper on one sheet of paper or two two sheet of paper make sure you always uh, divide your writing into different para paragraphs usually in simpler terms there are three paragraphs the first paragraph is the beginning the second paragraph is the middle and the third paragraph is the ending if you're writing a more complicated writing if you're writing uh, attempting a thesis then you then your writing is subject is divided into more paragraphs and subjects uh, where different paragraphs are dif uh, uh, you know covering different subjects or different aspects of the subjects uh, of the topic skip the opening and start in the middle uh, it's i don't think it's a good strategy to skip the opening and start in the middle uh, but uh, you know if you're drafting then you're you're already aware of your opening and you're starting in the middle uh, the, i suppose that it will help improve your the body of the essay that's that's about it not the end start writing the part that you understand best or feel most strongly about so writing about your feelings is always the best way to go about any subject especially if you're a free writer uh the way you feel about a certain subject the way you feel about a certain way, a certain book uh, or a certain personality or a certain factor in life is is the best way to express yourself i think it's the best possible uh zone in which you can express yourself and most strongly express yourself uh, uh, better uh, uh, in that part that you understand it the best of all uh, you know better than anyone else if i am st i have strong feelings if i strongly feel about a certain so for instance i feel strongly that uh, you know humans or you know the city of faisalabad should be more environmentally friendly they should be uh, a movement where schools should be encouraged to allow their students to plant trees uh, and take care of it uh, and should include it into their curriculum then i would be able to bestly write about it but if i do not feel strongly too much strongly about a subject or i do not feel a lot uh, or, or i don't think give a lot of uh, you know interest about this. for instance i'm not interested in wildlife so i won't be able to write a lot about wildlife so it's best if you you know uh, start writing about the part that you understand best of you and it's it's the best strategy when you're drafting and if you're a free writer but if you are bound to a subject then it's always uh, good to draw an outline and use your personal experience to draw examples and uh, make points and then give them points to give the points a shape of paragraph and then write them in paragraphs and make sure that your writing is uh, appropriate for the whole uh, is actually covering the subject of the of the question and it's covering the topic of the subject at least if you're not too much sure about the subject if you're not aware about the subject if you if you do not know what the subject is about if you're totally blank about the subject for instance you're given a topic and you're told to write about plastics and their history and what role they've played in human history then you're totally blank i do not know any what the, the i mean i do i don't have any idea about the history of plastics and their role in the human history so the best strategy in that case would be that i would you know try to remember best what role plastic has played in my life and draw an outline best related to that and then uh, write about it ways to keep drafting is set aside enough time 
it's uh, uh, always good to uh, because if you're given a limited time to attempt a question or write about a subject it's best to set aside enough time uh, to uh, to attempt that question uh, to uh, draw an outline uh, of the for instance if you're given 30 minutes to attempt a question it's best to you know set a, set aside the time of 10 minutes to draw the outline of the question and set the rest of the 20 minutes to attempt the question and write it down in paragraphs uh because if you do not uh, divide your time properly into drafting and writing and attempting the real question you might lose track of time and you not you might not be able to uh finish the question or write or finish your writing uh, in a given appropriate time work in a quiet comfortable place obviously in examinations hall we are aware that there is a quiet uh, place it is uh, generally quiet uh, where uh, the question is being attempted where the question paper is being attempted and usually you are in a comfortable place but it's it's natural uh you know it's, we we all are aware that you're usually given a physically comfortable place but it is also important that you're comfortably placed in your mind says you're in a, at a comfortable place in, in your mind so if you're not in a comfortable place in your mind then it's uh, Uh, such as, and if there is some confusion going in your mind about the subject, and if you're not comfort, you're not uh, aware of the subject, and you do not feel at ease, then you won't be able to properly com- commit to that writing on paper. If you must stop working, write down what you expect to do next. Again, if you come across a writer, uh, writer's block, if you if you're confused, if you do not know how to proceed with the question, or if you're not sure how to proceed with the writing. it is always better to take a deep breath and stop for a while think and then uh, start writing down the points and uh, you know up to the best of your abilities and to the best of your thinking of what you're going to write next uh, you know try to jump back into your memories try to jump back into your uh, personal experiences try to jump back to whatever you've read in the past uh try to jump back to whatever you've seen in your environment observed in your environment about that particular subject which will help you to uh, take away the writer's block and which will also help you to uh, and give you writing a very good and a nice pattern be as fluid as possible and don't worry about mistakes obviously uh, there's always whenever you're a writer and me personally as a writer when i used to write a lot i used to commit a lot of mistakes uh but i try to be as fluid as possible being fluid doesn't mean that you keep on writing being fluid means that you are writing smoothly your writing is making sense you're connecting your words are connecting your sentences are making sense uh your paragraphs are making sense your writing is in chronological order and keep going if you're a free writer i mean if you're down to write a book then obviously keep going don't give up don't get lethargic about uh the subjects if you're writing a paragraph if you're writing a thesis then you know don't give up on it just keep going just keep writing and uh, you know if you think that your writing is not up to the mark if your writing is not up to the par and if you think that you're going to fail i mean if you are, are driving towards criticizing yourself i think that's a very bad idea so resist that feeling of self criticism and move on with the subject and write if you if you come into a point of self criticism do not criticize yourself come to a point where you take that criticism in a positive way and turn it around uh, and turn it around to you know uh, into better positive ideas that you can uh, put on paper use your thesis statement and outline so if you're using your thesis statement and outline uh, for your writing I think the outline that you've already written in your draft I think your writing process will be smooth you will be able to attempt the question in time you will be able to attempt the subject in time you will be able to attempt the paper in time and your writing will be as smooth and nice as it can be and it is always good to sample the first draft uh if you're writing if you're a free writer if it's given to you as an assignment and you ha- you have to attempt it in a couple of days or two three days then it's always good to sample your first draft to give it uh, you know read it for the first time then read it for the second time then read it for the third time and improve your draft before submitting the final draft uh, uh and then there's these three exercises that you can attempt 
uh, analyzing a first draft, considering your password, drafting, drafting your essay. So if you have the book, do attempt these exercises of 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3, which will help you, uh, you know, improve your writing assignments. Usually t- students do not like attempting exercises because they are really, really boring and they take up a lot of time and they uh, tend to, but it will, at the end of the day, it will make you a better writer, at the end of the day, it will make you a better understand uh, your subject question, understand your career path or whatever you're attempting in your future life, become a better writer and, you know, if you, if you even if you're not writing something, you become a better reader, you become a better person at understanding things, at understanding different factors of life, at understanding different environments and understanding different aspects of life. So if you have the book, do attempt this exercise question number 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3. Uh, I think if you, even if you do, do not have these, uh, the book, I think I'll just, you know, write about the uses of m- mobile phone. How the evolution in technology of mobile phones has influenced human lives. So write uh, write an essay about it, write a draft about it and share it with us. I hope that this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions or queries too, let us know on our page at www.facebook.com slash agacademy1. Inbox us and we're open to queries. You can also call us on our number uh, at 0323966899 if you're looking for, you know, personal tuition. And we will be more than happy to answer your questions and queries and we'll be more than happy to uh we'll be more than happy to uh you know answer your questions and queries and help you at whatever subject uh, you're stuck at <laughs> and whatever question you're stuck at. So have a good day, take care and we'll see you guys in the next video.